what could be the pathology so some skin biopsies are done and what is the pathology or the hpe examination findings so here in the first image you can see this is a discoid rash so a discoid rash is seen in systemic lupus erythematosus discoid by the term discoid we know that it is a disc shaped or a coin shaped rash which is predominantly present in the scalp and in the face in patients of sle so it's an erythematous sometimes scaly non pruritic lesion present over the face and scalp and discoid rash biopsy shows hyperkeratosis hyperkeratosis follicular plugging and in the dermal epidermal junction many mononuclear cells monocytes and macrophages infiltration is seen so when we do an immunofluorescence we can observe what is called as a lupus band so what is a lupus band so in an immunofluorescence igg antibodies will be deposited so you can see a beautiful immunofluorescence here so igg antibodies bright they show as bright green in the immunofluorescence gets deposited at the dermal epidermal junction in the skin this is called as a lupus band test in sle patients the deposition is seen both in the involved and in the uninvolved skin so it is very very important so entire dermal epidermal junction the igg gets deposited where if the patient is only suffering from dle that is discoid lupus erythematosus only the cutaneous involvement of lupus is present the immune complexes are found in only in the involved skin not in the uninvolved skin so lupus band test sle is known to affect the kidneys and there is a classification of lupus nephritis six types of lupus nephritis is classified based on the histopathology of the kidney so renal biopsy is done based upon this lupus nephritis is classified from class 1 which is mild to class 6 which is advanced so minimal mesangial is class 1 class 2 is mesangio proliferative lupus nephritis class 3 is focal lupus nephritis class 4 is diffuse lupus class 5 is membranous and class 6 is advanced sclerosis lupus nephritis so from class 1 to 6 mild to severe